Yeah. No, what's happening? It's not it's moving. Yeah. So yeah. Test it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you're indoors, three hours. If you're outdoors and it's cold, it will last so less time. If you walk uh, with uh, with what's here, okay. and you see your possibilities, and you can use them all. You can use this one. You can use none. That's so figure out what you want. Uh, two person out of like out of shot. If you want. Okay, so hi everybody, welcome to COTV, my name is Raja. So today we're going to show you some very interesting stuff. We're going to uh, expose you to some music from uh, Montreal Underground and we're going to talk about uh, movies with the, the panel. So uh, we start with uh, the music from uh, Montreal Underground. Matt Ferland for CUTV News, and I'm here with Tim Boucher. Tim Boucher, how are you, Tim? I'm great, how are you? I'm great. Now, what's going on here? You're in the making of a new show. Yeah, we're with The Way Up, and we're shooting um, uh, music under Montreal. It's uh, buskers and street performers in metro stations. It's on metro stations. Every metro station is going to be going on the show. Eventually, yeah. Eventually. So that's that's great hope for that show. It's the busker. Who's out right now? It says busker. Uh, this is our guy. But you read it in one or Chico? two minutes. Chico. <laughs> Chico is the name. Uh -huh. So Chico's playing music. You're going to be having coverage yeah. of underground music in Montreal every week? Yeah, we're going to try to do a few stations every week and uh, kind of we'll make a map as we go. And, and why focusing on metro station music and street musicians? I think it's something people see every day and it's uh, you kind of, a lot of times you just walk by and you don't really investigate it too much, so we're trying to kind of stop and look more closely. Pay attention to those yeah, unknown artists in the shadows. Right, right. So that's a fair yeah, mission. Really asked, I think so. I do too. Great. Terrific. <laughs> we'll get you guys back to it. Yeah, thank and you. Uh, have a great day. Yeah. So thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. My name is Chico, I come from Portugal and I was singing Portuguese children's songs. This is the best experience for you to don't give a crap and just sing whatever you want, the way you want. That's why I'm busking, I'm just busking to, to let it out, uh, let it all out. It's about luck, it's more about luck. Some, some day you're really bad and you got a bunch of people giving you money. Other days you're wonderful and nobody gives a shit. So it's more about you and giving your best no matter what.
cima Depois de mais um chute nas retretas Curtindo uma tripa de heroína Sapato, baby, cura e joaneto Noite já vem a malatina Ele é o maior da cantareira Patrulha Today is not a good day, as you can see, top. But uh, usually between 100 and 400 bucks. Every day. They do it for for themselves, okay? They don't do it for the audience or what or for the money. They do it because it's something they have to do. It's a herd. You see. Uh, sometimes I kind of feel like I'm in a visit. I don't think so, I never asked for anything. I just show up and start playing. Mostro vai te comer, chama o porco para te ajudar a defender. Uh, yeah, I'll be playing on open mic nights and busking in the streets for as long as I can. Thank you, Matt. So now let's go with Mona to watch uh, the panel. Hi, this is Mona from CU TV, and now we're on the set of the panel. Well, my name is Mark. I'm uh, I'm here with uh, uh, three uh, movie watching buddies, and uh, we're discussing this and that. Yeah. Uh, so, what are you dis discussing today? Uh, we're talking. To, well, the boys are going to invite me to watch Star Wars today. We uh, find that there is uh, a barrier between. Uh, the female gender and the Star Wars uh, trilogy, or the six Star Wars. Well, movie. there are girls That's who are really into. That's yeah, have really you seen Star Wars? Wars but but I think they're very and specific. I've seen one of them, I think. Uh, not enough. Yeah, not yeah. enough. <laughs> are you are you into Star relate. Wars? <laughs> yes. Thank you. We're not feeling it. <laughs> well, we'll make you <laughs> sisters. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. And then also we we're, we're going to be doing uh, a panel about you know the situation in uh, in film and how there's a lot of commercials these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a big problem. We're wondering what's the difference between television and uh, films. And yeah, to the I mean it's theater. all copy case kind yeah, of same format. Pay. So what what are we paying for really? So do you, do you guys discuss like uh, a broad category of films or do you focus on something in specific? Talk about movie related issues. Too, yeah. Issues that are that, uh, things, problems, or uh, that can be found in different movies regardless. Okay, good luck, you guys. Thank hey, you. Thanks, thanks, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I bought a bourgeois house in the Hollywood Hills with a trunk load of hundred thousand. Hey, 
Okay, well, uh, first of all, hi to uh, everyone watching us today. Uh, today we're going to break uh, the barrier of silence, one of the uh, more important barriers in the uh, movie today. It's uh, the barrier between women and uh, the Star Wars uh, series. Uh, we sense that there is a reluctance, a resilience on certain female person's parts that sounded bizarre. Um, let me start over again. Uh, well, there, there seems to be a resilience on the part of certain uh, women when it comes to uh, Star Wars movies. And uh, we decided that uh, we would uh, show her the positive sides of uh, science fiction and uh, little furry animals. Yeah, you gotta see the Star Wars. There's no running away from that. In the Russian Star Wars, though, they speak Russian. It makes it quite interesting. You gotta see it. Hi, guys. Welcome to another episode of the panel. Unfortunately, I am here today because the boys decided that I needed to see Star Wars. Now, I don't represent all women. I wouldn't say that all women hate Star Wars, but I really don't understand why you guys are so obsessed with Star Wars. And I don't really understand why I have to watch Star Wars. I don't think that it's a very significant cultural <laughs> movement, but that's my own personal opinion. I, I'm not trying to offend you. Um, so I guess we're gonna have to watch this movie. Do you have something to say? Well, how can you not watch it? It's the war of the stars, come on. It's like Star Wars, the stars on wars. You know, like the top stars in the wars, like even the name is quite, you know, uh, appealing. <laughs> you have to see it, you know, like there's like the hairy animals, Jar Jar guy, you know, with the funny guy. Okay, just, just put We're going to make you watch all of them. Put, put the yes. I actually have a theory as to why men like Star Wars more than women. I think, although I cannot quote the exact scientific papers done on this subject, but men stay children much longer than uh, women. Actually, they stay in the infant age until the age of 50. And women, they mature, you know, at uh, age 18, 19, they are, they are adults. And I think they, they have this uh, disadvantage as to not keep the, uh, uh, the um, uh, juvenile, uh, you know, uh, so I'll... Well, I wouldn't say that I'm not juvenile. I like to skip rope, and there's a bunch of things I did. And I w even when I was a child, when my cousins would watch Star Wars, I would not watch it with them. So, I mean, that's possible. I think that guys do take a little longer to uh, mature in that sense, right? But I, I don't know if it's necessarily a, um, a matter of women not wanting to be youthful when they watch it. But anyway, let's go on to watching it. You guys can explain to me what's going on on this crazy screen. All I see is furry. Is that a Chu Chewaka? Is that what they call him? Yes, well. Chu Saba? This is a furry monster from space. And he is Han Solo's uh, best friend and acolyte. Now, you may mock him in this manner, but I would like to remind you that although Chewbacca does not utter necessarily Chewbacca? Chewbacca. Oh, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. I would like you not to mock Chewbacca, does please. Chew the Baca? <laughs> Is that why they call him Chewbacca? <laughs> we apologize for this uh, coarse humor on this uh, particular uh, segment. Look, Chewbacca is a monster from space, and although he does not have a, a very articulated form of language. He is a highly intelligent monster capable of mechanical repair of uh, the uh, starship uh, flown by Han Solo, uh, whose name I forget now, but uh, I will pass on the mic to, uh, to you. Well, the names doesn't matter. What matters is the, you know, remembrance of them, what they did for us, you know? Like the Star Wars is a life-changing movie. You know, um, you know, you see the War of the Stars. 
stars are exploding. You know the dead star, the non-dead star, the living star. It's can very cool. Can, can Actually, we, can we talk about hmm? the, the that thing that that light thing that they use? What's the light thing? Oh, it is the. <laughs> Yeah, it's the light bulb in it making the noise. It's laser, you know, it's laser, you know, this electronic device, you know, electronic devices makes noises, you know, but I guess he has something at uh, to add. I personally think that, you know, if they're going to be all spaceshipy and Star Wars-y and, and intelligent, you'd think that they'd be able to eliminate the sound of their weapons. This is a common... Um, uh, source of uh, anxiety among women is the lightsaber. Uh, we will not hide the fact that it is a phallic symbol, <laughs> that uh, many, uh, many papers have been written on it, many work have been uh, written on it. Now I will not go into the profound psychoanalytic uh, symbolism of the lightsaber, just to say that it is a, a token of the power uh, hidden in all the universe and you can use it for good or for evil. You see, watching a Star Wars movie is not just entertainment, it's like going to church. You learn values. You learn them, it's because in this, uh, in this movie that is really a documentary on, on good and evil and how we can transmute the bad to the good and help our fellow uh, people. What about, what about that evil guy that's the dad of like the good guy? So where, where's the line between evil and good then? Right? Because, like, doesn't he say, I am your father or something? So isn't that a, like, intense movie moment? You know, the Force, Force has a dark side, you know? Oh. And uh, if you're a Jedi, you should avoid from that side, you know? We, there's actually a Jedi f in all of us, you know? And you have to see that, you know? We have all this Force, you know? But some people choose to go to bad side. <laughs> and Darth Vader, unfortunately, you know, he was a good guy in the beginnings. You know, and he has a son, you know, he fights against him and he says, I'm your father. Uh -huh. You know, it's quite surprising. Yeah, deep movement, like there is sadness, everything in this movie. So even there is like, you know, uh, brother, sister, love, you know, so it goes. But, uh, yeah, I agree, it's too far. I admit that the uh, kiss between the sister and brother uh, is uh, highly controversial. It is a, a source of, uh, of problems also, a source of a lot of anxiety. Uh, look, this movie, I think, uh, the, the reason why we're showing this movie is to expand your horizons and to show you that the, the force is not open just to men, but that you as a woman can be a Jedi also. You can be a woman Jedi and uh, 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 wield this uh, lifesaber with whatever meaning it may have for the good of all. And I think that's, uh, you yeah. um, <laughs> Were there actually women Jedi? Is that, is that something that was represented in, in the, I feel like there was a lack of representation of the female gender in, in this thing. I mean, I didn't see the whole movie, so maybe there were some women Jedi. This is beside the point. <laughs> The point is, Star Wars is open to everyone, and we should not needle pick little problems like, you know, like it's true there there should have been a woman Jedi, but Princess Leia is a strong, powerful character, and I'm sure that she her, herself one day will become an accomplished Jedi. And this this trade uh, is open to everyone, whatever your gender. Actually, you know, Jedi has become a religion as well, and it has been trying to be, I think there actually should be a, a legal religion. Yeah, 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 I'm a Jedi myself, I feel the power, and I keep going between bad side, good side, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And also we have to make you tell the force be with you at the end of this speech. This speech. Force be with you. 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 Force be with you.
Because Star Wars movies on the back. Thanks for watching CUTV, your campus community television. The workshop was very, uh, I was very instructive. Yeah. And it, it's fun to meet people that uh, share your love of uh, multimedia. And it's great. It's really great. Yeah, this is like a crazy experience. Yeah. yeah. It's all about zooming. Yeah. yeah. How to zoom, how to zoom with the camera. Yeah. I hope we can edit it all for like a five to ten minutes. Although I was a little bit scared from the camera, like I was like scared to touch it. Yeah, I feel like we learned we learned a lot in a, a very short period of time. And and from being kind of thrown into doing it all like so quickly, we ended up learning from our mistakes right away and also learning to work with people that you've met you know 20 in the same 24 hours right so that was pretty interesting well, it was also challenging in a way that we had to improvise our things you know uh, we didn't have enough time to have a scheduled plan or stuff to talk about we didn't have a script so we did everything during the speech yeah, I mean, also for the questions like reporters you asked good questions today yeah, he just had it on the spot he didn't have to think about it he just it was spontaneous, yeah. and I think this is a great thing to be like when you interview someone. Anything you want to add? I'll force be with you. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, CUTV. Really, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you, CUTV. Thank you. Thank you. you're indoors three hours if you're outdoors and it's cold it will last so less time if you walk uh, with uh, with what's here okay. and you see your possibilities and you can use them all you can use this one you can use none yes. so figure out what you want uh, two person out of like out of shot if you want interviewing and thanks thanks everybody for watching tonight uh, stay tuned with us and uh, don't hesitate to send us an email if you want to volunteer.
Um, if you're indoors, three hours. If you're outdoors and it's cold, it will last so less time. Temperature. If you walk uh, with, uh, with what's here, okay. and you see your possibilities, and you can use them all, you can use this one, you can use none. So figure out what you want. Uh, two person, out of the like, shot if you want.